Hey, good morning, guys. We are on our first road trip of the year, and we are in the one of the oldest and most well-preserved medieval towns here in England. We are in Rye, and we are here at the George Hotel. And I'm at the uh, I'm in the George Grill right now. I'm about to have lunch. We are doing something we rarely do in the beginning. We are gonna have lunch first because it's a little rainy and drizzly outside. So I thought I would come in, uh, have a bite to eat. So why don't we do this? I am going to sit here and look over the menu, uh, figure out what we want to eat. And then what we'll do is while we're ordering and eating, we'll take a tour around and talk about the, the little village, the little town of Rye, okay? So I'll see you guys short. Taxi. Just a little bit about the famous old Mermaid Inn here, which is perhaps alongside the George there, you know, the, the great old medieval inn of the town. Um, it's a big sprawling place, over 30 rooms, still the, perhaps the biggest employer in the town after all these centuries. What you've got here is a, a whole mishmash of buildings of ages, um, early 15th century over this side, and Tudor over the archway here. Um, the actual oldest bit of the inn you can't see, it's under us here. Uh, under the inn are the, uh, the, the cellars hewn out of the rock, the sandstone that the, the town sits on. Uh, they're still in use today for the storage of the fine wines of the inn. Now they are officially recorded back in the year 1156. Wow. So they were here in the middle of the 12th century, that means well, certainly they've been here for longer. And in effect you're going back towards the origins of the town. Um, well, what you've got here is straight away you can see the variety of architecture in the buildings in Rice. One of the things you notice wherever you look, uh, you, you see something different. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the different styles of buildings uh, as we go around. To make one thing perfectly clear from the start though, um, nothing in this town really, or very little of the buildings that we see, post date a very significant event that changed everything in this town. It was in the year 1377, in an event called the Hundred Years' War between England and France. And it was in that year that for once the French took the war to the English because most of the war was fought on French soil. Um, it was in that year that an a French fleet attacked the south coast of England. It actually based itself in Rhine, sailed along the entire south coast of England, attacking English ports and towns. They appear to have been here for a week. They left and destroyed the town completely. So the whole town was burnt to the ground. Um, which means subsequently that everything has been rebuilt. So what you see above ground pretty much post-dates that particular event. Alrighty guys, so I, I am about to order my food, but I want to introduce you guys to Mr. Alejandro. Mr. Alejandro, how are you today, sir? I'm very good, well, thank well. you. It's definitely my last day before my day off, so oh. very well. Yeah, oh, so I came, we came at a good time, right? Yeah, exactly, very good. <laughs> we came at the best time because uh, this is going to be his last day here. I met Alejandro last night uh, and he, uh, he really took care of me last night, so may we have I would like to have the half roast lobster and the serpentor. Oh, one of our speciality of the house. So yeah, that's yeah. gorgeous. Okay, so we'll do that. I would like to try that. And also, I would like the the. I told everyone I was, would have the gambas uh, because I like the way they look. But yeah. I posted a picture of that. All but right. may, may I have the rye based scallops again? Definitely, yes, you yeah. can. Yeah. Uh, or shall we cook your steak for uh, the serpentor? Let's go medium. Medium, medium, yeah. Medium rare. Medium and rare. It, right, lovely. Yeah. The best cook for us, yeah, I would say. Yeah, uh, any sauce with it? We do Bernese peppercorn or Stilton. Uh, let's go with peppercorn. Peppercorn. Yeah, yeah. It's right. going to be everything done. All right, perfect. Lovely. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you so much. Right. Pleasure. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so what we'll do is uh, we'll wait for the food to get here. And as soon as the food gets here, uh, we'll have a bite of this. But why don't we do this? While, when we go away, uh, I'll show some more footage. You guys enjoy the footage, and when we come back, we'll eat. All right.
Alright, okay guys, so the scallops are here and uh, we are going to uh, dig into these scallops but be first, uh, but, but before we do, I am going to take a few pictures of this. So you guys here, let me take a few pictures of this because this is this is how I normally do things uh, when, I'm, when I'm by myself. So you guys are getting to see uh, what Freddy the Foodie does when he eats. So uh, let's, let's see what kind of picture we can take. Yeah, so did you guys enjoy some of the things that you saw? It's kind of funny because I don't know really <laughs> what I've shown what I've shown you guys, so that will be a surprise for me too. <laughs> but here we go. Uh, let's dig into these scallops. So there's, there's scallops, and there's pancetta, uh, and there's some tomatoes, and this sauce is really good. So here, let's do this. This is one of those things where I can tell you that it tastes good, um, but believe me, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that if it didn't. So. Here we go. Can you guys see that? Let's see, let's focus. Pancetta and the scallops. Mm. Let me take a couple more bites of this because it's just, this is one of those things also that melts in your mouth. So I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'm going to continue to eat. As soon as the food gets here, the main course, um, we'll dig into the main course together and we'll finish off the rest of the episode. Wow. Now, nah, look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness, guys. I, I, hold on, give me one sec. I'm going to move this so uh, this camera over here can see it. Can you, can you guys see that? Let's see if we can. Oh my goodness. And look at this, let's see if we can get this lobster. Wow. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and start some of this and uh, we'll take a few bites. And as always, uh, I'll, let you enjoy, I'll let you enjoy it, but, uh, and then we'll sign off. Do that for it. Some of the peppercorn sauce on. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't need it. Yeah, that's just the way I like that part right there. Mother would probably throw away, but or not eat, and she would give it to me. Wow. That is a juicy steak. And I don't think I needed the peppercorn sauce to go on it. That's how good it is. Some really nice flavors in that. Let's go ahead and try the lobster. I'm just using this for it. Should be talking a little bit more, but I'm kind of serious and trying to dig in here. Wow, that has a nice little spice to it. Garlic buttery spice. It's, ooh, it's really kind of spicy. Look at that. So you know what, guys? We are going. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pretend that this is the end of the episode, and uh, we are gonna sign off. I'm gonna eat a few more bites of this, but we are gonna sign off. And then we're going to enjoy the rest of our food. But I hope you guys really did enjoy this little medieval town down here in Rye. Uh, such a nice little place. If you if you can ever get to England and you uh, want one of those little day trips from London, it, this would be one of those little places to do. You can get to get to France from here. Um, there's the, the Battle of Hastings, the castles. There's so many things that you can. Uh, do from this location in the George. I do highly recommend uh, the George down here. It is uh, not only is the the staff and the and everyone here so friendly. It is a friendly feeling vibe. So um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad to be back with you guys, and uh, we will. Excuse me. Let's uh, let's let's have a little bit more to eat, and then we'll sign off until 
next week when we are headed to Iceland, right? So let's have a few more bites of food.